so hello everyone uh, very warm welcome once again to my channel as you can see today's topic is uh, the use of Jupyter notebook in visual studio code so I'll be starting with some brief details or brief uh, information what is actually Jupyter notebook and this tutorial is going to be really very very handy for uh, the users who are already uh, familiar with Jupyter Notebooks and also for the beginners uh, who have never used Jupyter Notebook and also VL Studio Code. So, uh, so uh, let's move on. Uh, so the real uh, required tools or the prerequisites uh, for this tutorial is VL Studio Code. And I mentioned here the link you can download if you have not done it yet. And the two necessary extension which is required uh, to work with Jupyter Notebook uh, within Visual Studio Code is the Python extension and the Jupyter Notebook extension. And I will show you how you can install that later on uh, in the video. So what is actually Jupyter Notebooks? Uh, uh, Jupyter Notebooks are simply a combination of markdown text and your executable Python source code, meaning that it is a combination of uh, you can take it as a markdown is it's like an html stuff you know you and you have a text written with it some information and then you have a code you can embed like equations in that using latex uh, commands and other stuff too so uh, the notebooks uh, the visual studio code actually supports the working of uh, jupyter notebooks really natively and also the use of the python code files we will be uh, more or less uh, demonstrating the following points uh, like how you can create and then you can edit your notebooks uh, and work with Jupyter code cells how you can connect to a remote Jum uh, Jupyter server and so on other functions like uh, debugging and uh, outline viewer and uh, how you can really see the number of uh, variables available in your um, Jupyter notebook setting up an environment is really an important step so in order to be able to work with uh, with python in your jupyter notebook uh, you must have uh, a framework uh, or a kind of an environment available uh, in your studio code so i'll be using this anaconda environment uh, you can also uh, use uh, other python environment that uses jupyter package but uh, for this tutorial i'll be sticking with the anaconda environment and i will also demonstrate later on how you can install that to select an environment uh, you need to first of all uh, select uh, use the python select interpreter command so this is a shortcut for this one which is control plus shift plus uh, capital like p so after the suitable environment is enabled then you will be able to um, uh, start working with your jupyter notebooks so um, you will see later on that uh, automatically there is a jupyter environment which is will be opened up within visual studio code and, and it works exactly uh, one is to one similarly as if you are working in directly in a Jupyter notebook. One could also uh, connect to a remote Jupyter server for your running code cells and you can also expose your Jupyter notebook as a Python file. And uh, Visual Studio Code is also taking care of the workspace. So uh, there is a trusted workspace and an untrusted workspace, meaning that if uh, you are working with a Jupyter notebook and uh, you you are working really in a trusting working space uh, this feature actually allows you to indicate uh, which folder and the contents within that folder or you can also restrict automatic code execution uh, something like this stuff you know and if you are working in an untrusted working space that is a restricted mode using VS code you will not be able to execute cells meaning different um, parts of your notebook and also uh, other outputs which will be like hidden how you can create uh, the blank uh, new Jupyter notebook already mentioned earlier you can uh, simply use this uh, interpreter command from the command palette which is control plus shift plus P or you can create a new dot uh, ipy nb file in your process which is nothing it's like ipython notebook file so but we will i will try to demonstrate with the with the easy way which is like simply using the command palette and it will directly offer you the number of several options available and which in our case will be the jupyter notebook okay i think we have really talked uh, 
a lot uh, what is the Jupyter Notebook, how it will work in this one. And now let's uh, really move on uh, for the demo uh, for the Jupyter Notebook in uh, VS Code. All right, uh, so this is uh, Visual Studio Code, yeah. And uh, we can see on the left side, uh, there is an Explorer. So if you click, you, you can see there is Explorer, you can uh, open a new file and you can also work in a sel selected folder. You can save your files and you can close all other editors. So uh, us is at the moment in the Explorer is the very important part is extension block. As I mentioned earlier, to be able to work with Python, you need to have a proper environment uh, to make your files executable. You need to make sure that you have Anaconda extension pack uh, installed. So you see, this is the one uh, from, from, from Microsoft and I've already installed it. So if you have not installed it, so you simply type in Anaconda in the search uh, extensions box here and uh, in the marketplace and then install it. Make sure you really install it properly. And the next one is uh, Python. So, and always another tip is that whenever you search any extension, always try to install the first one because the most popular or the most number of download is really the most suitable one uh, in Visual Studio Code. So I have already installed Python and you can see it's telling me all about uh, different features available in, and one can even further scroll down to see what kind of features it is offering. So, and last but not the least is uh, Jupyter. There you go. So once I click uh, on Jupyter, you can see it's already installed. So this is more or less it uh, to be able to work with Jupyter Notebooks within uh, Visual Studio Code using also the Anaconda environment. So now what we actually do is we will start with this one and uh, we will open, we will open actually, I've already made a test file. So we will open, it's an empty file. So we'll really start from scratch. So this is how it really looks like when you open directly with control shift P. Yeah, so even I can even demonstrate it once again. So this is the command, so control shift P. So it's showing show all commands. Yeah, so we can first, just for the moment, we can close the terminal to have some more space. So control plus shift plus P and it is uh, giving you several options and we, what we are interested in at the moment is creating a new Jupyter Notebook. Once I will click here, you can say it's initialized properly and there is, um, there is a code option. So you can have different cells. Uh, you have a cell, first cell will be with markdown code, uh, another one will be with the code. And if you want, you can run all the cells at once. You can clear the outputs. Uh, there is the option of variables. If you define, we will see later on. And then you can have outline, outlines, um, like it's kind of table of contents of your Jupyter Notebook. You have markdowns available. You have codings available, code blocks available, Python codes. So it will be showing you in the Explorer. There are other options, as mentioned earlier in the slides, that you can export in different formats. So it, you have three formats. Like you can export your Python notebook as Python script, HTML or PDF file. <clears throat> so let's say we will start first of all with Markdown. You, you can click here or you can yes, uh, hover the mouse over this cell and you will see there is an option Markdown or code. I will say let's say Mark Markdown. So what I will do is um, it's really similar to Jupyter Notebooks. So I will start with the the text of level one which is uh, just with one hashtag so i would want to have it like uh, bold the text let's say we will write welcome to jupyter notebook in vs code so i will close it again with two double star quotations and uh, when i will execute this you will see it is showing in bold and it's really uh, the first level of your text. It's like a higher header or a title of your uh, notebook. And you can edit this cell either by double clicking on this cell or simply clicking this um, edit cell icon. So I will press enter. I wanted to have another level two smaller text. So I will say something in italic, uh, brief overview 
let's say see this one you see it's showing us uh, like in italics so it is uh, very very easy uh, also for the beginners who have never used Jupyter notebook and also in vs code environment and then um, this is like a markdown part and if you wanted to write a code you simply uh, press here at cell or code but we can see we already have a cell already available here and it's saying magic python so um, we will write something which is called message and uh, the message will be uh, like uh, uh, welcome to Jupyter notebook word right so and then I will say print msg and I will simply play or execute this cell explicitly meaning that if I want I can run all so sometimes uh, this is really the beauty of Jupyter notebook so independent of other cells if you're working in particular cell you can uh, do even the debugging you can do uh, some testing so you can execute a single cell right so here you see it's saying uh, I just write a, a simple string even if you hover them on for message uh, this uh, text it will tell you um, the data type it's a string data types and I simply print this message we can uh, try to add uh, something more interesting let's say uh, I would say test equals to uh, I would say input introduce yourself please and then I will print hello test so test will be the input which will be stored in this test variable and that will be uh, later on uh, uh, displayed as an output so let's say we'll play it again so here you can see it's a input is it's a, it's a dialogue which will be taking this input and passing it out on the test variable so I will say introduce yourself please uh, Python programmer right so welcome to Jupyter Python notebook world hello Python programmer right so it's, it's really saying uh, hello Python programmer and uh, if you now see uh, once we click on this open variable view if you are really really very very long uh, Jupyter notebooks you wanted to see uh, the total history of your variables and the data types what is the size and what kind of values available in that so this is the way you can see that so this is message and test so we have two uh, variable both of type uh, data type string it's showing you properly and you can also turn on outline if you click outline here uh, you simply go there say make some more space here so welcome to Jupyter notebook so this is our first content and then you can further come in then there is another markdown so it will be a brief overview and uh, and then we have a code available within that so uh, let's say we wanted to now demonstrate something uh, a plotting of a sine function some mathematical function uh, I will add uh, before we start with the numerics part or the execution of the code we will just add a simple information just for our un uh, understanding and also information that uh, uh, plot plot uh, sine function all right so, so I will say now plot a sine function so it is a sine function uh, part and you can also see that it's very very easy it's really uh, very easy to also demonstrate um, even if you are even in meetings you can even demonstrate what kind of uh, functionality you have uh, in your code and if you are testing something and it's very uh, cool stuff for doing lectures even in universities for students it's very very handy so all right so let's move on to the classical uh, Python environment so I will first of all its uh, standard conventions uh, I'll be using the numerical Python library and I'll be using a simple convention as NP and uh, another one which I will be using uh, to, wish for, to visualize the sine function plot is matplotlib.pyplot 
and once I'll be using a simple shortcut which is um, PLT all right so we have this one so we will be using let's make some more space before we start stuff so I'll define an X variable X uh, uh, with line space uh, 0 to 20 and 100 so it goes from 0 to 20 and it has uh, 100 divisions all right so we will be saying and then I will have to uh, function which is like called uh, uh, NP so numerical Python dot sign of X so I want to take the sign of this function which is X and uh, this sign function will be stored in Y value and then uh, we will be taking Z variable so plt dot plot so it, now we will we want it to visualize our plot so I wanted to say x axis x variable and I will want to plot on y axis the y variable and to make them displayable also in this environment it's another good feature of uh, Jupyter notebook that one can uh, directly see what is actually going on with your code if it's if it's working properly or not so uh, this is also a very good feature so we got some some error so i think it's it's a simple typing mistake so line space okay so there is a small error so that's it I think this should be okay now so once we execute uh, we'll be able to see the plot properly there you go so this is our um, sign function plot and uh, you can also add some 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 more features in your plot let's say I would like to see the uh, the x-axis and y-axis which variables we'll be talking about so la x label so plt x label I will say this is x value and then uh, we will be saying plt dot uh, y label so for your y axis which is uh, sine of x yeah and similarly we can also give a title so the title is like uh, sine function so i can again once again uh, re-execute the cell and you can see it's uh, it has already updated the the plot now as you can see it's 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 really very handy to execute single cells and work in the cells if there are any error and you can do even any debugging so you can even add breakpoints uh, you see and uh, we can also do the debuggings uh, within each cell so another handy feature if you simply right click there you can go to the notebook cell or you simply click on these uh, three dots and uh, you will get uh, the desired or the related uh, commands uh, for each cell you can copy your cell insert cell one could even join cells um, copy cell down and similarly there are other options like uh, you can execute the cells above or execute the cells below uh, so there are really handy features available in that and you if you want you can delete the cell and similarly you can uh, run by line so you just by shortcut uh, f10 you can run your code line by line and other handy feature i want to show if you just hover the mouse over your picture or your plot on the very right side you will see this uh, this bar uh, expand image so once you click it it will open another new tab with plots and this is our desired plot so you can even uh, to visualize it properly one can even zoom in uh, and to make it a little bit much better we zoom out a little bit more and then we can also save this plot in several formats like pdf or png or uh, or svg file whatever you want yeah and if you finish with it you can simply delete that one and uh, also uh, as mentioned earlier we can also connect to remote Jupyter server so it's saying at the moment uh, it's a local Jupyter server so if you click there uh, you can uh, specify the URL uh, your specific URL if you know that one and then Jupyter notebook will connect to that particular server and you can work it over work over there right 
and so on so there are also other uh, interesting options available so uh, i think uh, that that's really about it uh, from 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 that side so i will now also encourage you guys to um, uh, subscribe my channel and uh, share my channel among your colleagues or your friends and family members if you think it's really interesting and do support my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so make sure that uh, every time i will upload a new video that uh, you will have a notification settings uh, enabled so you will be able to uh, really reach out my new videos and don't miss so that's it for my side thanks uh, for watching take care have a nice day bye bye